Hi, my name is Esther. I live in Mount Stewart. I'm 18 years old and tomorrow I'll be voting in a federal election for the first time. Are you excited about voting tomorrow? Yes, I'm excited, but I'm also worried. I, I don't think that even though my, my vote doesn't have as much weight as it, it does in my mind, I'm still sort of worried about the kind of influence I have on a national scale. But I am excited. Have you been keeping up to date with the election news? Um, I hadn't been at the beginning of the election campaigns, but I sort of have been taking a bit more notice in the last couple of weeks, um, and then definitely in the last few days. And uh, today I sort of spent more time researching because I realised that the election's tomorrow and <laughs> I didn't know as much as I wanted to. Do your parents influence your vote? Um, we've had a few discussions as a family about, um, the, my parents and I, about which way we'd vote and um, I think that they would, they do, yeah, because we have, when we discuss particular issues, we kind of all have a similar way of thinking and um, I value their opinion, so I, I definitely think they have some kind of influence. Which issues are most important to you? The issue of asylum seekers and um, just the way that the different parties have handled it have seemed, I don't know, not that, not that different. So here we are, Esther. The 21st of August, voting day. Mm. Are you excited? Very, very excited. And have you figured out 100% who you're going to vote for yet? Um, it was like 90%. I guess I just have to get in there and like see it and then I know that it'll just like make sense. <laughs> Flow out of you like exactly. a river. Like an absolute river. <laughs> well, good luck, Essa. Have fun in there. <laughs> Thank you. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train Going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised in... So how did you find that, Esther? Um, it was easier than I thought it would be. It was just so straightforward. It was it was good. <laughs> no complications? No, no, none. No, it was I'm happy how I voted, yeah. <laughs> One word to sum up the day. Phantasmical. So did you feel like you were part of the democratic process? Yeah, it was it was <laughs> it was funny because like having having your say is quite a, an important thing I guess. And it's it's good that we sort of all have to. Yeah, I, I like it. It sort of forces people to think about how the country's going to be run. Did you learn anything from this election that you take to future elections? Um, I don't know. I guess it's like it's changed about... It, it, it's not really about voting for the party and their policies, but like for the person almost that will, um, will possibly be Prime Minister. Like it's changed to a sort of a a match just one on one rather than party on party and it's kind of it's interesting to see how they've campaigned themselves and the way they've yeah they really do campaign all about the person don't yeah the pundits called it one of the most boring elections ever with votes still being counted and preferences being allocated we will have to wait even longer to find out who moves australia forward